Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of emulation on the Steam Deck with the amazing Emu Deck. So we'll be covering everything you need to know in 2024, from installation to latest updates to the issues with Yuzu. So grab your decks and let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is switch to desktop mode on your Steam Deck. So for that, we're gonna press the Steam button. We're gonna go to power and we're gonna switch to desktop. Once we're in desktop mode, you're going to open up your favorite web browser. In my case, uh, I'm using Firefox. So once you're in desktop mode, you're going to open up your favorite web browser. In my case, it's Firefox. We're going to go to search with Google and we're going to bring up the Steam keyboard. I will remind you that is by pressing the Steam button and X. If for whatever reason it doesn't open, make sure that you have Steam open on desktop mode. Now we're going to search for EmuDeck. And we're going to press enter or R2. Now we can uh, tuck away our keyboard and we can go to emudeck.com. Now it's very simple. You're just going to click on the download button. Then you're going to select Steam OS and you're going to select download for free. So this file has just downloaded. At this point, we can close Firefox and we're going to open up Dolphin, which is the file manager on the Steam Deck. We're going to go to downloads and we're going to see that we have a new file emudet.desktop.download so because i'm using firefox all of my downloads have a dot download at the end that we need to remove if you're using chrome or edge or any other browser it's not going to download like this so it's, it's simply going to download emudet.desktop uh, so we're going to right click and click on rename and we're going to delete the dot download part you're going to bring up the keyboard again, you know, backspace and delete the dot as well. And we can press enter and we can take away the keyboard. Now we need to take this file to the desktop. So we're going to drag it and drop it here and click on move. I already have it installed, but I'm just going to overwrite uh, so I can show you how it's done. So at this point, we can just double click this file. Click on continue and it's going to start doing its magic. It's going to download for a little bit, uh, but it's very fast. If you want the default setup, which will include pretty much everything you will need, you're going to want to install easy mode. However, I only want to install a few emulators. So I'm going to click on custom mode. Then we're going to scroll down to continue and then we're going to click on it. At this point, we're going to be able to select where we want to install our emu deck. So you have the choice of the SD card. You can install it on your internal storage, or you can select a custom directory. For sake of simplicity, I'm just going to install it on my internal storage. Now you're going to select your device. I'm using a Steam Deck, so I'm going to select Steam Deck. We're going to click on Next. And here we're going to be able to select which emulators we want to install. So the ones I care about are RetroArch, Dolphin, PrimeHack, Simu, and Ryujinx. So these are already selected, so I'm just going to click on Continue. Now on the next step, you're going to be able to see Tools and Configurations. So Emulation Station and Pegasus are both frontends that you're going to be able to use to select your games. I'm going to install both of them, although the one I personally use more is Pegasus. We're just going to click on continue. Now we're going to get a prompt for configure autosave. So we're going to want to click on on, but I do want to point out that this only works on certain systems. It doesn't work on all of them. So you can, you have a list of which ones work right here. Continue. If you have a Retro Achievements account, this is where you would input your username and password. By the way, this add-on is really cool. It basically lets you track your achievements for DuckStation, PCSX2, PSP, and RetroArch. I currently don't have an account, so I'm just going to skip this part. The next option is to configure game vessels. So I recommend leaving this on, as the ratios in some of these older titles are very different from the ones on the Steam Deck, so you're going to end up with a very distorted image. 
This is very similar to the previous option, but for Sega systems. So I recommend just leaving the aspect ratio as the original, which is 4.3. Otherwise, again, the image will look weird. Exactly the same thing. Um, we're going to leave it as 4.3, which is what the game was meant to be played as. And we don't want Samus to look weird. Same thing, but uh, this time for Dreamcast and Nintendo 64. Since I am going to play Nintendo 64 games, and actually Ocarina of Time is one of the games I do want to play, I'm going to leave it as the original aspect ratio. The next option is the exact same thing for GameCube games. Again, the games were meant to be played under 4.3 aspect ratio, so we're going to leave it like that. The LCD shader just makes it look worse, so I'm just going to leave it as off. The CRT shader also makes it look a little bit weird on the Steam Deck. However, if you have a CRT monitor or TV that you plan on emulating these games on, I do recommend turning it on. I don't have any of the sorts, so I'm just going to leave it as off. Same thing for this option. The controller layout will allow you to switch between a uh, normal layout, which is A, B, X, Y, and the Nintendo lay layout, which is B, A, Y, X. I personally prefer the normal Xbox layout, so I'm just going to keep it like this. So, as I mentioned before, I installed Emulation Station and Pegasus, which are both frontends for EmuDeck. However, you are going to have the options to add directly the games to the Steam library. I'm just going to select the default theme because I don't really care about this that much. And same thing for Pegasus. At this point, you're going to be able to see a list of everything that you have selected, as well as the options. So, all that's left is to click on Finish and then Emudex is going to start installing. I'm just going to skip this part and I will see you when this is installed. All right, so Emudex has now finished installing. Now that Emudex is installed, it's time to add your retro treasures. So Emudex will create folders for each system it supports. Uh, so the only thing that you need to do is to go to Dolphin, go to Home, go to Deck, go to Emulation, and go to ROMs. And you're going to be able to see a list of everything that you have installed. So let's say I want to install a GameCube game. So I'm going to go to the GameCube folder. And I'm just going to dump my ROMs here. So as you can see, I have these three ROMs, which are games that I own, by the way, in case, you know, Nintendo's lawyers come knocking at my door. At this point, Emudek will automatically detect your games and set them up for easy play. However, there is one more thing that we need to do and that is to add them to the Steam ROM manager. So we're going to go to the start menu, for lack of a better word, go to all applications, and we're going to scroll down to the S, and we're going to open up Steam ROM manager. It's going to prompt you to exit Steam, to which you're going to say yes. Once we are on the Steam ROM manager, we're going to click on everything that we want to install. I want to install my games on the Pegasus front end. I'm going to install them as well here which is the emulation station. And I'm going to scroll down until I see GameCube. Here we have it. So we're going to click on this as well because I installed some GameCube games. And you would install everything individually. So if you install Nintendo Switch games, you click here. If you install Wii U games, you would click here. If you install Wii games, you, get, you would click here. And so on, right? So once we're done with this, we're going to go to Add Games. And we're going to click on Parse. So these are the games that I have installed. As we can see, we have the Emulation Station. We have two Zelda games and Super Mario Sunshine, which, again, are games that I own. Please, Nintendo, don't put me in jail. At this point, all that's left is to click Save to Steam. So we're going to do that. And we're going to give it a second. Once everything has been added, we can just close this up. And go back to gaming mode. Once we're in gaming mode, we're going to press the Steam button. Go to Library. Go to Non-Steam. And we're going to see our games here. At this point, we can just open up any game that we have installed and start playing as everything is configured for the Steam Deck. All right, at this point, I want to talk about what's new in 2024. So the Emudeck team is constantly pushing boundaries, and 2024 brings some really exciting features. 
So first of all, we have wider system support. For example, if you get a Chimera OS power device, Emutech now seamlessly integrates for a really smooth emulation experience. This enables devices like the ROG Ally or the Legion Go running Chimera OS to install Emutech super easily. Additionally, you can now change the language options of each individual emulator. This is really cool if you want to run that very specific version of a Japanese game, uh, but you want to run everything else on English or your native language. So this opens up a whole lot of new opportunities. You know, there's always a downside. And in this case, it's the absence of Yuzu, the Nintendo Switch emulator, in the default Emudeck package. And this is mainly to ongoing legal considerations. Fear not, as installing Yuzu manually is still possible, as there are plenty of online resources to guide you through the process if you choose to go that route. The Emudeck team has chosen to install Ryujinx instead of Yuzu. The issue with this emulator is that it leaves a lot of performance on the table and it's not nearly as efficient as Yuzu was. To sum up, Emudeck remains a fantastic tool for turning your Steam Deck into a retro powerhouse. And with its ease of use, constant updates and vast system support, it's a must have for any emulation enthusiast. So what are you waiting for? Grab Emudeck and relive the golden age of gaming. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your favorite retro console and the games you're most excited to play. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome Steam Deck content.